So here we have the review of the Ducati Multistrada V4S. Now, this motorcycle is completely new from Ducati. All starting really because it's using the V4 engine that was in the Panigale, as it been in the Street Fighter, super fast engine. Really, they just bought it out from an 81 to an 83 millimeter bore size, and then just really focused on delivering an awesome, really tractable engine from the bottom to mid range. They say between 60 and 90 miles per hour compared to the old engine, it's like 30% better. So a massive difference, loads of grunt, loads of bottom end. It's a really tractable motor. And that's where the fun is, tractable through the corners. If you're in sport mode, be ready to hold on because you've got a lot of power at tap. But if you go down into enduro mode, then the horsepower gets capped at 100 and it's much easier to ride off-road. You've also got urban mode, you've got touring mode. With those modes, it also changes the suspension as well. It's all electronic, so you've got to get used to now doing everything here on the left handlebar. You've got an array of buttons. It looks more complicated than it actually is. You can really just scroll through with your left thumb and pick the setting that you want, the mode that you want. And if you don't want any of that, then just go to a default and create your own and it works really well. It's got the Skyhook suspension which just stays glued to the floor. You've also got a self-leveling if you've got a passenger and some bags or you can just flick through the settings and go from hardest right down to soft depending on your preference in any mode and you can really feel the difference as a rider. So when you go off-road you can really play around to get your particular setting that you like because it's always different if you've got a passenger, it's always different if you've got bags, or depending on how heavy you are as a rider, or even how experienced you are as a rider, because an experienced rider might be hitting obstacles a little bit harder. Now, the old twin engine used to have a real character in the engine, so what they've done here with the V4 is still have that same firing configuration, but with four cylinders. It's smoother, but it still feels very similar, so keeping that Ducati character. It has lost a little bit of sound with that Euro 5 emissions. But Acropovic have done a great job with this silencer. Now, it's got some really nice creature comforts here. Definitely the heated seats for the rider and the passenger. Those are superb. Awesome heated grips. But better than ever, in this model, they've really focused on trying to make it more comfortable for the rider. Because this is the Multistrada, it's their touring model. It's their flagship bike to be getting out. And for doing multiple days in the saddle, they've really tried to make this bike really comfortable. So what you've got from the front now is a really comfortable riding position, very similar to the previous model with the upright handlebars and just easy to go from road to off-road. But you've also now got a fairing that just sends the wind straight over you. So you don't have any annoying whistling noises around your head or pulling your head back. Really easy screen. You've just, with one finger, you can just be moving the screen up and down so you can tailor that for weather conditions and also your own height as a rider. But the fairing, like I said, it's just sending all of the wind over you. Same with the side panels here. They're really just trying to make it so that the ride is comfortable. Also, this engine that produces a lot of power isn't making the rider uncomfortable with heat either. So they've got a lot of scoops here to really take that heat away. Same with the radiators, these fins here, just taking that heat away and making it a more comfortable ride. I've been riding this a lot off-road. I know the Multistrada is an awesome on-road bike and this one is no different. It handles the road like glue. It gets really confidence inspiring. And even though it is a big bike, and it is a big bike, when you ride it, it actually doesn't feel that big. It's really controllable, it's pretty nimble, it does exactly what you want it to do, when you want it to do it, and I love that feedback from a motorcycle. Precise, but the old model definitely had more weight on the front. 
And this bike, it's got, uh, from the old model was a 17. This is now a 19. They've also changed the size of the rear wheel as well, making it a little more narrow. So you've got a different wheel size and that now it's a lot more weight in the middle rather than it over the front. The old Multistrada used to really steer well. I used to love the way it handled through the canyons. But you take that off-road and then you've got to be a lot more careful with it because it had a smaller front wheel and then it also had more weight over the front end. So you had to be careful off-road. Also, Ducati are really are thinking about riders getting off-road. So with the mirrors, they've also got them moving further forward. So when you get up and stand up on the pegs and your arms are higher, you're not touching the mirrors either. So just thinking ahead of what an adventure rider would want. Chassis wise as well, great to see a removable trellis subframe, very much needed in the adventure segment. Even though it's got a really big gas tank, it doesn't feel very big here, which is really needed close to the rider for when he stands up, gets on the pegs that the gas tank isn't too big. So a nice slim gas tank, even though it's a big gas tank overall. Also very adventurous, we've got good crash bars, we've got the sump guard, much needed for off-road. And they've got loads of things for this motorcycle as well to make it really more like an enduro model. Now this is the first motorcycle to be fitted with a radar system, which helps you keep a fixed distance away from the traffic. And when armed, the Multistrada will slow down and speed up all by itself according to the distance of the traffic ahead. There's also a light on each mirror, which comes on when something is coming up in your blind spot. Honestly, I was a bit skeptical of these features at first, but as I used them, I found they both worked really well, and I can only see these on more motorcycles in the future. Personally, I think it's a huge landmark moment for motorcycle electronics and motorcycle safety. And hats off to Ducati for taking that leap forward into taking useful technology from four wheels and incorporating that onto two wheels. So overall, we've got a totally new Ducati Multistrada. It might look similar, but it rides different. It feels different. It's got bags of character. It's got bags of torque in that bottom and mid range. It's a real stable motorcycle. It's a very intelligent motorcycle. It's a very powerful motorcycle. It looks great. It rides even better. Ducati have done a great job. The new Ducati Multistrada is awesome.